Welcome back to Jay Plays Indie Games. We're going to be trying something interesting in Hobbler's Hold. Uh, a PQI has shown up there uh, asking me to be a sorcerer or warmonger, which is a horrible combination. Uh, Hobbler's Hold is typically very easy. To make this an interesting challenge run, we are going to... An interesting challenge, we're going to add the Vicious Token in there. So, we don't need mana at all. Uh, so we're going to have that Fortitude in case there's poisoning. We are going to bet on boss here. I'm also going to go for extra attack boosters. Um, I'm thinking Torog is the way to go. But it might also be Glowing Guardian. Hmm, certainly not Mystera. We're going to go Torog. I think that's best. Uh, Slayer Wand might actually be a good preparation for this place. I'm going to go Bear Mace instead because everybody's cowardly anyway. And that little bit of extra damage might be interesting. Um... Compression seal is fine. Extra shop is fine. Let's take the fine sword with us. Okay. So we've got an interesting setup. Let's play it out and see how it goes. We cannot do anything as far as converting our glyphs until we worship Torog. And we have to probably get a mid-fight level up at some point. So let's do this. There we go. And that's enough for worship Torog's blade. So right to start with, we've got uh, 14 damage at level 1. Still not quite enough for a level 2 kill. Sidestep would be amazing. Um, at least not against this guy. I mean, a level 2 kill might happen, but not against that guy. So we've got to work on things a bit. Wait, what? It's 23. Um, this guy is poisonous. But he only does 11 damage, whereas I do 17. Uh, he's going to run away, though. You have to remember that. Like her, I could just kill in one hit and get around this guy. Uh, that way, at least I don't know if he... I know he's not running away. He heals twice as fast as me, which is an issue. Tower Shield's going to be huge, I think. Uh, or could be huge. Let me think here. Let's shrink down this Skull Picker and check out our shop, Bloody Sigil. Um, plus 5 HP, and it increases our regen. I'm actually going to buy this for once. I, I never buy that ever, but with that plus 5 HP, I think I can take on a level 2 uh, with the regen. So I'm going to hit this guy, and then I will regenerate there. And I can safely hit him again, and he does 11 damage. So let's go there and there. Puts me at 12, and I can win the fight. I honestly should have been knocking him into walls. I have the bear mace. Uh, but it got me to level 2. That's significant. That's good. Let's look for level 3 enemies to fight. A spoon. That's probably valuable. Yeah, let's buy the spoon. Good, good. Uh, this guy. I can kill him if he, does, if he doesn't run away. And uh, I've got this to get rid of the poison. I don't know why I fought someone at my level, though. That seemed ridiculous. I was like, I can kill him, so I should. That's not how this game works, Joseph. All right. Uh, I'm looking for level 3 enemies. A level 4, probably a little bit out of my league, especially with physical resistance. Uh, Pendant of Health is fine. Let's also take the Wear Ward, because that's really valuable. 5 damage reduction. Um, hmm. Grab this. The health potions I'll just leave laying around. This guy might be beatable. Let's knock him over there and check this out. Alright, knock him that way. And hit him again. Knocking these guys through walls is fun. He does 28 damage versus my 24. Uh, probably not worth using health potions yet, is it? It kind of is, actually. Because situation here uh, it's two health potions though I don't like that is uh, a bit strange compared to most situations so let's knock him that way and my next hit would kill him um, hmm and level me up I have to get above 28 damage though 24 30 yes I can still win good it's two health potions uh, whether it was well used or not, probably subject of some debate. Uh, I could probably kill this guy, since I'm not using mana anyway. 
seems appropriate. And let's explore and find another enemy similar to the previous one, but stronger, last longer. Okay, and nothing there. Could hit this guy into a wall. Check that out. Let's see, let's kill that, just so we can continue exploring, grab up our damage increases. Uh, this mana pendant can just be converted for extra health, I suppose. Let's check out Torog. Um, the armor is probably more valuable. Let's grab the helm, actually. There seems to be a lot of magic enemies around. And Bloody Sigil can go. Minus damage is bad anyway. Let's pick up the gloat. And yes. Did I not... Bring a compression seal? Seems strange. Oh yeah, I shrank this down. Okay. Okay. Level 4 enemies would be ideal at this point. Hero's Helm. Would be okay. Not ideal, but it would be okay. Uh, level 6 guy probably good. Actually, I could level up kill him in all likelihood. That would not be a bad idea. Or I could kill this. First. I mean, I'm going to do both, but I'm going to kill that first. And then, let's see, if I can get the exploration without killing anything. Uh, 40, 49, give me enough. Yes, that was probably enough. Uh, yeah, I can hit this guy once at least. I can kill the, oh, there's a little bit more exploration there. I might be able to hit him twice. No, but a little bit more damage anyway. Okay, so I can hit this guy once. Like so. Level up off of this guy. Come back and hit this guy twice more. Two level higher kill. Works out for me. Probably should have used uh, the damage from knocking things into walls. But I'm not used to doing that, so I don't tend to. Let's see. I can win this fight. And explore a bit, which is fine. A fine sword just laying there. Uh, that's what I love about this. Bear Mace might be worth getting rid of for the Fine Sword. Actually, Pendant of Health. And pick up the Fine Sword. Very nice. Uh, let's kill that. So we can explore around. I think my final boss is only like... What? 10 health? Something like that? Uh, or not 10 health. What am I talking about? Uh, level 8 or something like that. So... Yeah, he's level 8. He's got first strike, though, and 444 health, so he might be more tough than I want him to be. This isn't going to be a walk in the park, certainly. Not with Warmonger. I hate Warmonger. Uh, this level 6 might be killable with a level up kill. So, end his wall. Let's get rid of it. Um, and what else we got going on here? So I want to kill probably this level 6 with a level up kill. How to do so? I hit him once. I have to get close to leveling up. Let's kill you. And you, so I have access to some exploration. Then I kill you, because you damaged me a little bit. And I can explore right there. And I can still hit you once, right? No. Uh... Right there. Can I still hit you once? Yes, now I can hit you once. So I hit you once, my friend. Perhaps this way. Hmm. It does seem to do a little bit more damage because of the bear mace, I think. Yeah. So I hit you once. And it knocked you down there. And I will kill this guy to level up and hit you again for the win. Very nice. Puts me at five. You do 99 damage, I have 95 health. That's interesting. I should convert these, since I'm not using them. And that will probably put me at 100 health, so it might be time to start fighting him at level 5. But we'll see. Um, I can probably kill this level 6 with regen fighting. And there's a bin lore here. That could be useful. Uh, hit... And then hit, and then hit. And how much damage does he do? 33, a little bit less than 33. Let's go to 30 and win. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, puts me at 16. 
I can probably go after this guy next if I can if I can heal up enough to do so. Let's kill this guy then. And there's Binlor, a level three snake. Um, yeah, I have to heal. Uh, that guy would level me up now, which is not ideal. Uh, problem is if I start this fight too early, which it might be. I mean, I can only get one hit off of him right now. Let's check out our shops. Tower shield might be good. More so than a fine sword, though? No. And that would get me a hit. I think I have to start the fight next level. Um, because I think I have to kill these guys. Uh, till, I, till I have the exploration. So now I can still only get one hit, but it's going to take fewer, I suppose. Binlore. Worship. What's up with Binlore? Free Ender's Wall. I can probably get more hits with an Ender's Wall. Oh, I can't use Ender's Wall. Or Pissorf. But I've got Bear Mace. Uh, actually, you should like me rather a lot. Stone Form might be amazing. Um, stone skin might be amazing. It'd get me a, more hits off on this guy. Uh, more hits than a death protection, though. I don't know about that. Worship. I have to take Torog's ar armor at this point, and I can't pick it up. So, what am I getting rid of? Probably the fine sword. I've already got one, <laughs> and a wear ward. Uh, pick up the physical resistance. And then, it's probably about bin lore, isn't it? So let's... Uh, let's worship Torog, grab Unstoppable Fury. That must be exactly 50. Hmm. Can I get close to leveling up? I think so. When? There we are. These level 7s aren't really going to happen. Kill this level 5 over here. And this level 4 can go down. Puts me at 15 anyway. And this guy goes down, and this guy goes down. It puts me at 21. I need more. I need much more. Okay, 5. 26. Uh, 27, 28, 29. I need one more. But I don't have it. That's not good. That is not good at all. One more experience point. And I can't kill these level 7s easily. Hmm. If I had gone goblin, this would be so much easier. Badge of Honor is very valuable here. It's going to be another hit. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to have to fight this guy as is. Three health potions, one of which I should probably use now. Uh, I don't know if I can get enough hits to make this happen. Let's see. Okay, I can get two hits right now. So, hit. And hit again. That happened. I don't know why I got knocked back, but it did. I've got to get one, two, three, four, five, six more hits on him. Ooh. That's a bit rough. 51. And let's pick up this health potion. Uh, use it. Alright. Bang. And explore, unfortunately. Uh, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 still. I don't have my death protection anymore. Hmm. Let's see here. Troll heart. Pendant of health. We've got another health potion. Buy. And use. Puts me at 83. Which will allow me to knock you into a wall, my friend. Yes. Very nice. Uh, we've got 86 health. Let's do this. This. To get Torog happiness. Worship. Unstoppable fury. And I can get one hit that way. 
And worship. Unstoppable fury. Leave. And I can another hit that way. And then we're going to go here for the badge of honor. So we've got to get rid of the fine sword. Now let's get rid of the bear mace. Because it's a little bit less damage. Uh, and then we'll purchase the fine sword, the badge of honor. And use it for the barely win. Yes! All right. Wow. Okay. That was actually way, way, way tougher of a, t of a hobbler's hold run than I expected. Um, exit for the win. And how much gold do we earn off of this? I want to know. Because we got three badges. We got uh, the PQI victory. Because we got Warmonger as a dwarf sorcerer. We got the 500 from Vicious for the first time. So how much is this? It didn't have any earnings at all. 500 gold is it. You don't get crap for Hobbler's Hold, guys. You don't get crap. Alright. Fair enough. It was just 500 gold. I thought you'd get uh, at least a little... No gold may be earned here after uh, first victory in another dungeon. Fair enough. At least I've got it. Oh well. I got 500 gold for that. It was fun anyway. I, I thought it would be a huge gold earning thing, but it was just a fun run. Alright guys, thanks for watching.